What's going on? What's going on? It's your boy Gotham here with another one. I want to thank everybody for coming out and checking the last video. And I want to thank everybody for subscribing to my channel in the last couple of days. I appreciate you. All the people that commented on my last video, your names is flashing on the screen. I appreciate that. I want everybody to continue to do that and all the feedback because it allows me to get better in this space. We're, all, we're almost close to that Holy Grail 1K. So everybody, please keep sharing this, these conversations, these topics. On to the, to the topic. We're on episode number 38. Uh, I just bought my My Arcade little cabinet, the mini cabinet that Banksy K5, shout out to him. He did a great review on it. I bought it today. I was having some issues with Walmart last night, but I was able to go through Amazon and get the cabinet. So it should be here next week. But it got me thinking, why not RK1 of didn't do this cabinet? If it's so easy for my RK Retro to do this cabinet, why not RK1 up? RK1 up, you had this license under your belt for six years. And the community always had this in their top five like top five driving cabs, you know. But as I was really thinking about it, let me throw this topic on Facebook and I got some feedback from the community and here we go. So now I'm on the official RK1 fan fan page and we got one from Glenn Schaefer, shout out to him. He stated that RK1 up uh, well, I'm sorry. Atari had plenty of racing games to beef up the pole position racing cab, racing cab lineup. So maybe we will see one someday. This little pole position is neat, but I'm going to need at least a lighter marquee for the $50. So let's get to that. Yes, I agree. They have an extended lineup over there at Atari. When I looked up, they had a, a bunch of driving games. You know, you could have put on Spy Hunter. You could have put on Roll Blaster. You could have put Bump and Jump. They had a couple of games to beef this up. And for six ninety nine, had they had the heavy hitters with pole position one and two, yes, I believe it. But then get into the second part of his his statement that that retro. So I'm on the original Media One Global Fan page, and John D had chimed in with his statement and let me pull it up okay here we go one of didn't do this because i didn't want to do this the game doesn't hold up well and you had to change all the cool billboards scott fought me on this every time see john you're not listening to the community because the community has always advocated this cabinet through their top five always asking when we're going to see pole position i i've seen that posting for years on his pay on the rk one up fan pages both glenn and the official fan page and y'all always claim that y'all was always going to produce this clap this cab at some point but then i chimed in and stated to john like john the community would have bought this cab hand over fist even you had to ch change out even you had to change out the billboards or in the game or take them out. As long as RK1 had a cool lineup of games, Bump and Jump, Chase HQ, possibly Spy Hunter, Roll Blaster, would have been a great cat for $6.99. And then we got another comment for Chris going to jump. I can imagine the meetings and emotions involved in making this, these decisions. Not easy. It's easy if the cat if you sold it just like Burger Time exclusive on your site, and it would have made a lot more sense if it was on your site. Because my thing is just because Walmart, Best Buy, Target, uh, Kohl's, all the big uh, big store names didn't want to buy it, you would have, all you had to do was produce three thousand calves and see what it does. And my thing is three thousand calves for six ninety nine you would have had a lot of people buying it. I'd have been one of those pre persons who would have pre-ordered the cab if you had like got it down to like six six forty nine, just a fifty dollar cutoff, just for early adopters. My thing is, you didn't see whether the community was really jonesing for this cab. 
I know I was. There's a lot of people, right? And there are people chiming in constantly hitting the posts up saying that they would have bought this cat. Now, I know this is a, this is a nostalgia cat, but just like Cubert, Elevate Action, those are nostalgia cats. Yes, it doesn't have a big following like Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, Pac-Man, you know, those those A, a, um, a grade games, but you we need these little other games in the arcade. We can't just have a bunch of Mortal Kombat and a bunch of Street Fighters and a bunch of Pac-Mans dominating the arcade. Our, our uh, arcade rooms or basement caves or bar caves or, you know, or boiler caves. We need these little hidden gems in the situation because my thing is, if you're not willing to throw new games out on the, on the system, um, out on the scene, out in the community, how can we gravitate and stay with this company when y'all keep repeating the same titles over and over again? And I'm not beating you up, John, and the rest of the RK1 of staff, but y'all gotta stop thinking the main the main games that are producing money and and the, and the other games that could possibly make you a lot more money. All you gotta do is produce a little bit, and I kid you not, like Golden Axe when it came out, y'all produce a certain amount, and that cat didn't come out for a whole year afterwards, and then basically people were screaming at the top of the lungs like, "We need Golden Axe to be out here." Y'all reproduce that cat. So you, you're saying one thing and you're doing another. It's two different things. But I just wanted to, to advocate this out there to to the masses. Um, for everybody, if you like this 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 video and you want to add more your two cents to this, please put it in the comments below. And please give me a, a thumbs up on the way out of this video. I want to thank everybody for stopping by and checking out my video today. I appreciate it. We're getting close and to the Holy Grail. But I just want to check out and just have my two cents. And I want to and I want to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving this weekend. And please go out Black Friday and cop some games if you can find them at a lower price. Use your boy Gotham here with you at another one. And I'll come and see you at the hopefully another episode down the road. Peace.